as much as in me is. I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. To the Jew first and also to the Greek. Here you find the expression of the desire of Paul the Apostle. Not only the desire, but the zeal, the passion of Paul the Apostle. And he said, I am ready. The preaching of the gospel is so important. And every believer must be ready. Every believer must be available. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 2. Preach the word. The instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort, without long suffering and doctrine. Then he tells us in verse 5, but watch thou in all things, endure afflictions. As we go out uh, preaching the gospel or making contacts with people so they can come and hear the gospel, and as we connect with people, it might be a little bit inconvenient sometimes to arise you know, earlier than you normally arise so. Or there may be some physical conditions that may bring some difficulties. Through those difficulties, we are going to preach the gospel. Endure affliction. Somebody there say, I will endure. Do the work of an evangelist. The word, the instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort, without long suffering and doctrine. Then he tells us in verse 5, but watch thou in all things, endure afflictions. As we go out uh, preaching the gospel or making contacts with people so they can come and hear the gospel. And as we connect with people, it might be a little bit inconvenient sometimes to arise you know, earlier than you normally rise up. Or there may be some physical conditions that may bring some difficulties. Through those difficulties, we're going to preach the gospel. Endure affliction. Somebody there say, I will endure. Do the work of an evangelist is work. You see, many people don't realize that evangelism is work. They think it's for leisure. But it's as much work as the work of any other person in society. Think about the work you're doing, the energy it takes to work. The zeal it takes to work, the skill it takes to work, everything it takes to work, bring everything into evangelism because it's work. Do the work of an evangelist and make full proof of thy ministry. Your ministry will have a proof. Philippians chapter 1, and I'm reading from verse 13. It says, So that my bonds in Christ are manifest in all the palace. And in all other places, you see Paul the Apostle, he didn't allow any situation to pass without making proper, practical, positive use of that situation. In the city, he preached the word. In the in incarceration, in prison, he preached the word. Anywhere he found himself, he preached the word. And he said, in all the palace, in all the other places too, my bonds in Christ are manifest. And many of the brethren in the Lord waxing confident by my bonds are much more bold to speak the word without fear. And look at verse 27. In verse 27, only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. That whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your fears that you stand fast in one spirit. We're united. I said we're united. So that whether you are in this district 
or in that other group, whether you're in this city or that other city, the same thing we're doing here, the same thing you're doing where you are, we're united in purpose, we're united in passion, we're united in the drive that we're going to get the gospel to everyone around us so that the same success we see on the right, that same success we see on the left, the same success we see in the city, that same success we see in the town, the same success we see in the town, that same success we see in the village and everywhere that this gospel is getting to it will penetrate every community in jesus name in romans chapter 10 verse 13 for whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved whosoever we're reaching everyone whosoever the men and the women the boys and the girls the high and the low the ones in the town the ones in the city and the ones in the village everywhere we're going to saturate everywhere with this preaching of the gospel i didn't hear an amen i'm talking about the gospel of salvation and it is the greatest message that man has ever had is the greatest gift the world can ever have and you know as you think about your society anytime you you wake up anytime you're going anywhere somebody at the bus stop is announcing something somebody where people are gathering together there's a bus there a mini bus there and somebody is even using a you know loudspeaker and he's saying that you know this one will do you good and this one will they advertise advertisement everywhere as you're going if you you don't uh, hear the voice you see the large billboard is advertising something as you even want to answer your phone you know advertisement is coming as you're looking at uh, maybe you use computer you use ipad and as you're checking up some things on the internet advertisement is coming as you listen to the radio somebody is advertising something and then uh, you hear the television somebody is advertising something there's advertisement all over the world and everybody is saying something and presenting something to somebody somewhere but think about it all the things they advertise in any way with any gadget and with any opportunity everything they advertise they are not up to the value of the gospel you have in your hand you have the greatest commodity you have the greatest item and you have the greatest thing that will bless people here on earth and bless people even in heaven that's the reason why we're not going to allow the people of the world who are advertising what they have to go beyond us advertising what we have thank god i have something if you have christ you have if you have salvation you have something and if you have the power of god you have if you have the gospel of salvation you have something we must not allow the promoters of temporary benefits to be more zealous than we are we will be zealous we're going to do everything god has called us to do with zeal and with passion in jesus name let's call upon the name of the lord we have had the importance of preaching the gospel of christ the purpose by which the church is existing today is to preach the gospel